morning guys um i am still in my pjs and i thought i would make my matcha latte with you guys with my nespresso frother so i wanted to show you um how i make that in the morning as well as um i don't drink coffee in the morning i used to drink chai um every morning but it just wasn't as strong as i would like it and um so i switched to matcha and i wanted something that was going to give me an energy boost that was um strong enough but without the crash later in the day so um i'm going to show you how i make that so we'll do that i'm still in my pjs and no makeup but i was like this is the perfect time to kind of just show you um how i make it and um, I love matcha. It's so good for your energy, your focus, like calming um, your nerves and just kind of being centered. Also really good for um, glowy, radiant skin. And um, basically one matcha leaf is like equivalent to like 10 green tea bags. Um, so I felt a huge difference in my energy, my focus, even my skin um like within a week and it sustains me for you know most of the day and i still like to have my chai in the afternoon but um that's more just kind of like a little pick me up but um pretty much i can still go without it uh, i can go without drinking anything else and just have the matcha to keep me going all day but it is such a gloomy day outside today and raining so um i definitely need that extra boost of energy so let's get going so i'm warming up my water and um this is the frother that i use from nespresso and um I'm warming up, I'm heating up my milk. So the milk I usually use is Oatly, Oatly milk. Um, I drink oat milk with my matcha, but since I ran out, I have to go to Whole Foods um, and pick some more up today. Um, I am using this lactose-free, fat-free um, milk because I am allergic to dairy and intolerant to um, dairy and lactose, so it upsets my stomach. So. I do definitely need to get um, new Oatly and I'll show you which one I use exactly. But um, this is the matcha that I use and I absolutely love this. It gives, you um, can hear my microwave going off and the water at the same time. But um, this is the Peak Life Sun Goddess Matcha and I drink the ceremonial grade. This is like the highest form. I did so much research. Um, for matchas before I decided to go with this one. Hey guys, okay, so this is better. So this is the Peak Life, um, let me focus in on it so you can see. So this is the Peak Life Sun Goddess Matcha. It's a ceremonial grade. And you can see that it's for gradient skin and energy. And um, this is what I use um, to drink every single day. I'm out of focus here. Um, and smells so good, so fresh, and you can see that it's like that beautiful pure green matcha color. That's what it's supposed to do. So I did a lot of research on matcha. I love matcha, and um, I didn't want the tea bags. I wanted the powder. I, matcha is expensive, but um, instead of getting the pouch, I ended up getting the, this tin, which is um, 2.5 ounces, and lasts me quite time I only drink it once during the day one time I made the mistake of drinking it um, closer to the like late afternoon early evening I was wired and awake the whole night so definitely don't drink it at night before going to bed um, preferably caffeine anytime after two o'clock is not good It'll, you know keep you wired but um, so this is what I drink in the mornings it lasts me quite some time because I only put in literally just um, half a teaspoon um, in there and I'm good for the whole day and um, 
I replenish this every few months. I mean, it's lasted me. This is my third tin um, since last year. So it's lasted me quite some time. Um, I try not to use too much because a little does go a long way. But um, this is what I use as far as my matcha in the morning. So I'm gonna show you how I actually um, make it. So I poured in my milk and um, I poured in a little bit of the hot water and there is a line here that says max so I just filled it up to the max so I don't pour in um, as much. So I like to mix my milk and my water together in the frother, in the Nespresso frother and then I am going to take because um, I know a lot of people do it over the stove, um, you could do that too, but I like to um, do it in my frother and it comes out so much more richer and creamier and that beautiful foam at the top. So half a teaspoon of the matcha and I don't like to waste any of it. Um, turn my Nespresso on and let it spin. So it's spinning and um, I can't wait to show you how creamy this comes out when you do it in the frother. So I personally like it doing it this way, um, just comes out so much more richer. Alright, so my matcha is done and look at that beautiful foam. Now the foam is like, it gets even more rich and creamier when I use my Oatly barista um milk so definitely we'll have to show you again with that one but going to pour it in my cup and you're gonna get all of that beautiful foam at the very top i like to scoop the rest with a spoon to make sure i get every ounce of that but there's my matcha Sorry for the ringtone. All right, so there's this is part of being a hunting creator. You're gonna have uh, um, weird noises just popping up out, out of nowhere. But anyways, um, so here is my matcha. So gorgeous, such a beautiful green, and um, the foam just came out so nicely, as you can see um, right at the top. But um, this is what I love to drink in the mornings every day. And I will take this um, with me on the go um, in my coffee mug um, on the days that I go into the office um, to work. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to enjoy my matcha. And then um, I'm going to sit down with you guys. I'm actually going to have some breakfast first. I'm going to make some breakfast. And um, then I'm going to sit down with you guys. I'm going to get ready, sit down, and show you um, a huge unboxing haul um, of stuff that I've been buying lately. And so I just thought, you know, let me sit down and just share everything I've been getting and um, see, you know, just open everything up with you guys. All right. And first impressions as well. But um, all right. So let me enjoy this, make some breakfast, and then get ready. And um, I will chat with you guys soon of um and do the unboxing together hey guys okay so i found a spot to do all of the unboxing with you guys for everything i've been buying lately um to open up with you so um i have a bunch of different things from a dump quite a few places but i'm gonna start with skims so um these are bras that i really needed and i already had bought um one of them and um i really loved it honestly it feels so so nice um and supportive um so this is the other style from skims that i bought and it does have adjustable straps which i like and it also does have a hook closure so if you want you know to um adjust it that's like amazing 
Um, I do have the other style, which I'll show you, but this was the um, V-neck that I needed um, in this style, but I have big girls and I need, I wanted bras that didn't have underwires, but also um, were truly supportive and these truly do work. They feel so comfortable. They feel like I'm wearing nothing but with all the support and without suffocating especially when i'm eating i think during covid it really spoiled me to not wear a bra and get used to that and just feeling free and comfortable anyone else feel that way but um of course when we started going back to work and going out i was like Ugh put a bra back on and of course it does look amazing with certain outfits um, to give you that shape and form and support but I was just uncomfortable um, especially after eating just feeling so just everything just like stuck right here ever get that feeling where it's like it just won't go down and I felt like the under wires the wire bras just um, just were suffocating me i couldn't breathe and jay just felt so uncomfortable especially with trying to get my food to go down um it was uncomfortable so i was looking for bras with no lining i don't like lining um i already have big girls so i want them to look even bigger than they are um i just want support and comfort and just you know also look really nice so and just you know feel good underneath so this is the black one and i did get um neutral colors so that way it's easy for me to pair underneath my outfits and don't have and it just looks seamless looks smooth that's another reason why i like i like it um so this is the scoop neck style and i have this in black so this is the one i got in black originally and i fell in love it did get um their panties the high rise ones um but now i finally just needed more of their bras so this is in the co um like the deep cocoa chocolate color so that's the scoop neck one that i got and then so if you're looking for comfortable bras that are super supportive for your girls um highly recommend these um you can even wear these under your fitness wear um i don't they're supportive but again if you're doing intense workouts i wouldn't recommend it but maybe like yoga and something definitely um, and then this is a nude and um, I just wanted a nude I didn't get white because little tip um, and I'm guilty of this too but wearing white underneath white it will just show so definitely want to get something that's more skin tone um, so this is perfect for when I'm wearing anything white um, it's not gonna see through so that is the scoop neck in the nude um, so I just wanted to make sure that I got pretty much everything in the same style but in different colors and I really love the chocolate as you can see I'm wearing this beautiful chocolate colored sweater from Amber Kami. Um so I got the chocolate color in the scoop in the v-neck as well and um, I got the same size so I you definitely want to make sure you check the sizing chart I got this in a medium um, for me so I just went off of the ch sizing chart made sure that it was the right size for me um, so I'm a medium in these right yes I'm a medium in these and um, um, so pretty uniform with the other ones as well so you just want to make sure that you just get the right sizing so then when you buy anything else from skims you just know that that's your size um, at skims so but definitely um, I will let you know how I get on with the neck ones um, but I love the scoop neck and I had to get the rest so again this is the V neck in the nude so next I was looking for nipple covers and I just needed that again under dresses um, that are supportive but don't really need a bra but I just wanted to um, didn't want them to show through or just you know um, we all have nips but I just you know um, feel a little bit more at ease if they're just covered so I found these nippy skins um, from Thistle Inspire 
and they were super affordable. Um, they have different shades, which I really like. So it's not one shade. They have different shades based on your skin tone. Um, so I got the one in... Um, oh, and there's two different sizes. So I went with the size 2. Again, you want to look at the sizing chart to be, you know, based off of your cup size to see what they recommend there's size one or size two and i'm forgetting the color for this one but it is a um a very natural i think cocoa color um one and i guess like let me open this up with you guys i mean i'm not wearing it right now so i can just there we go um oh beautiful packaging too look at that and so that's how it looks on the inside. And I just want to see how this looks. So these are, from what it says, it's supposed to be um, like invisible. You're not supposed to feel it. It's a matte finish, it's ultra thin edges, and it's hypoallergenic. So um, again, I was looking everywhere to find the right nipple covers. And I like that these are actually really big um to just give you that full coverage without feeling um like they're gonna fall off and i just want to see how many come in this because i've never actually got these before okay so you get two um of these and this is how they look wow okay so this is like super smooth and you guys yes this is super thin and easy adhesive to just stick on so you get full coverage without um worrying about your nips showing so perfect again going into summer and i mean spring and summer um definitely need these and i also have a trip coming up where i need to wear these underneath dresses so this is perfect and i like the little casing that it comes with um to keep your nipple covers in there to keep them nice and in shape um so that's that i will put that to the side and it also did come with this like cute little mesh bag in this um i like keeping these types of bags because they're really good for when you're packing for travel i think they're really um you know um neat to have it's just um i love using reusing these types of bags for travel especially you know like packing as packing cubes or just if you want to put anything dirty all right so the next one is from amber Crombie, and um this was a dress that i had found i love silk and satin dresses and just anything silky um and satiny that just feels so luxurious on the skin um so i found this white dress and i just like the cut of it as well so you can see it is a midi length um, as well it has adjustable straps um, it also has elastic right here in the back so it does stretch and it has a zipper in the back um, but what I also like about this is that it has a slit right here so um, at the thought like right at the knee or like upper right above the knee going down so this is just so classy and elegant as soon as I saw it it was on sale so I definitely will be linking everything below as well for you guys um, to see if you know you can find these as well um, if they're still available this should be most of the stuff should be but for the dress I know this was on sale so you can check check and see if they still have it in your size because um, it is on clearance and um the fabric is so soft um i can just see myself just pairing this with so many things i mean going in from like winter into spring and summer so there's so many ways i could wear this so definitely can't wait to share how i style this with you guys um so next i am going to go to aritzia so i actually did buy a bunch of stuff during the winter sale um just haven't had a chance to open any of this which i bought the last week of december so i um i always love their packaging look how pretty and cute that is um so i got a bunch of socks because i really needed a bunch of wool socks um since i live in chicago super cold and um we have more of a wet winter than um, dry winters most of the time so for me 
I just needed something that was also long, um, not short socks that I would usually wear. Um, so I needed some really nice long wool socks. So they, all of these socks were on sale. So these are the ones by Wilfred. And I just ended up getting all the colors that were on sale. So that I just had, you know, all the socks. And this is a beautiful, like almost evergreen, emerald green. Super gorgeous. These are the Wilfred Unwind Crew Socks in wool. Um, and I got them in like this beautiful heather gray, um, this peachy tone as well. I got it in the navy, the brown, this other oat color as well. So it's just a little bit lighter than, lighter than the heather gray. And then black as a staple. So those were um, all the socks I got as well as wow you guys <laughs> so um i ended up getting um ear warmers and i got them in white and these are the sunday best ear warmers because i wanted to match with my coat so i do have a white coat wool coat um and this is perfect to match unfortunately i did get mitts that were matching with them and um they were not the same color the mitts were not this light so i ended up returning that I did get the mitts with lining, fleece lining, um, in black. They're not here because they're already in my coat pockets. But I didn't realize that they sent me two of the black ear warmers when I already, um, when I only ordered one. So I will have to be returning one of these again from Sunday Best. Um, just wanted to match with my coats, just something to keep my ears warm. I don't like wearing knitted um, hats. So I love ear warmers and I have my hood, um, so black black it is, but definitely going to have to return one of these since I didn't realize they gave me two by accident. Um, so next from Aritzia, I was looking for a wool scarf. Um, I do have this beautiful camel colored scarf from um, Amber Combi, but um, it's not as thick it is very long and beautiful but I needed something that was warmer so I got um, a wool scarf and this gorgeous gorgeous wool scarf from Aritzia this beautiful chocolate with the tassels um, they had other colors in black and heather gray navy um, they had variations of different styles but this one I personally liked and this was the Wilfred um, wool scarf and it is long as well so you can see it is long um, so that's perfect because again here we're in the windy city and it gets really chilly and when your face gets slapped by the wind um, it is not fun and, um, <laughs> it my face freezes um, anyone who lives in Chicago you understand what I'm talking about so definitely needed something that to keep me warm and cozy that I could just wrap myself around in and this feels so soft and also um I just felt like the brown will complement um with most of my coats because I have black I have red I have white um so I just feel like this is like perfect with my wool coats and will match with all of them um seamlessly so again that was another reason why I chose the brown because I wanted something that would match with all my coats not getting a different scarf um for each coat um that just didn't make sense um so i wanted to make sure that i got a color that matched everything and that's my thinking process with anything just to see how it would fit in my current wardrobe and that if it will match and be versatile with what i already have so um it would have been nice if i could find this color um brown chocolate um unfortunately not um i did see something from acne studio similar to this color but that's almost that's over like 300 for a wool scarf and honestly if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable then i recommend going with aritzia um it's more budget friendly but if you have the budget to get the one from acne um there is something similar um that's in this color almost um i mean this is the color i was trying to find but this is just as beautiful so I will be keeping this one. Um, 
and until I can get the acne one. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna move to Farfetch. So I ordered, um, if you are not familiar with Farfetch, Farfetch um, is something that I've been shopping on, a website I've been shopping on since last year. And I really, really love um, that they have a variety of different designers from your your name brands, like your big top luxury name brands like Fendi and like um, YSL and Dior, you know what I uh, mean? Um, it's all your top um, couture houses as well as other designers that I wouldn't have known um, and smaller designers that I can support um, um, and just finding out you know what else farfetch has so it's a great way to find and discover other brands and some more support the smaller ones the smaller businesses so reformation i'm sure you guys have heard of um i have something from reformation um i did buy some silk pants recently unfortunately they're at the tailor so i couldn't show them in this haul but um i will show them when i get them back from them being hemmed um but this is a beautiful um linen dress from reformation that i was eyeing since last year and it finally went on sale and i bought it as soon as i got the notification that it went on sale so i love that it has this right here um the elastic um um band around the chest and waist look at this beautiful sleeve um I love that it has a cinch at the end so you can easily roll them up and what's great about this dress is that you can wear it up like this or off the shoulder so if you want it to be a little bit more modest you can have it up if you want to show a little bit of skin which i don't mind a little bit is okay um you can have it down then this is a linen dress too and it is a midi length which i love and it also has a slit right here on the side as well on the left side of the dress so I cannot wait to wear those guys. You guys have no idea how excited I am to wear this. Um, I wish it, they also had it in black, but not complaining. Um, finally got it in white after a year of eyeing this and I cannot wait to wear this abroad. That is gonna have to wait. I'll tell you guys where I'm going, but, um, and that's next month, but um, so stay tuned, but I cannot wait. To wear this i've already envisioned the entire outfit and how it's going to look and everything um how i'm going to put this together and style it um but just cannot wait to wear this a lot <laughs> this summer which you will see so again another beautiful beautiful dress from um reformation and i cannot wait to share this with you guys how i style that and just the whole look the whole look um all right, so next is a pair of shoes that I bought from Farfetch. Again, I love that I'm discovering all these amazing, affordable um, designers, you know, because it does range in prices. So you have your um, more affordable luxury designers to your top, you know, um, expensive luxury designers. So these I already have. These are Castanias wedges, and I already have them in black. Now, I've been eyeing for the white ones. They were out of stock, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Again, just felt like right timing. Like, all of these items that I've been waiting on for pitch, they came back, and they all went on sale. So, these are a Spaniard shoe brand, and from 1927. So, it just has that, you know, classy but vintage style. All right. So, I wanted to show more close-up of these shoes. Oh, my God, you guys. These are beautiful so now i have these in black and i've been waiting for the white one so i got it in white so these are the castagna wedge espadrilles and i love this little jute here too just gives it a nice raw look but it's very classy and um, elegant so this is the shoe inside and then it also has the strings to tie around the ankles all right so this is the shoe and um, again, these are Castagna Espadrille wedges. So the bottom sole is not too thick, which I like, which is perfect. I have these in black. This is the white, how it looks in the front. Um, and it has this beautiful jute. There's a little bit of a hole here. Um, a little 
people and then you tie these around the ankles and these are so comfortable like incredibly uncomfortable you guys i have walked in these in the city now if you guys know like in chicago in downtown there's a lot of walking and these are so comfortable i wore the black ones so much last summer and i'm so excited i cannot wait to wear these out and i like that it's so supportive because it is so supportive on the sole it is comfortable um it is comfortable but you have to make sure you tie it properly around the ankles as well when you wear these shoes but this is such an amazing shoe highly recommend checking them out um but i'm so glad that i finally found them in white and this pairs well with my reformation white dress which is absolutely stunning together um and i can wear my black castanias with that dress as well but literally you can wear this with so many stuff you can wear this with trousers you can wear this with skirts you can wear this with dresses you can wear this with shorts you name it you can wear it okay and it is comfortable it is beautiful you can dress it up you can like dress it down but i'm so excited to style these shoes and show you guys all right the last item in this haul best for last i've been waiting for this um again also from farfetch is the cult gaia and um i've been again eyeing this purse for over a year now and i've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this purse to go down now i got a notification in december that it went down on sale and then i kind of forgot about it um i was going to buy it and then the last week of december i got another email notification that it went down even further to 91. this was originally about 400 um dollars and oh my god it was a steal so now you're probably waiting for this purse this is the beautiful cult gaia purse now you're like huh if you're wondering yes it is um you know made of wood um and it's very artistic um but it's very functional so now i've seen this on another influencer and oh my god just the way you're able to style this so many ways and i'm so excited to wear this for spring and summer and i just got the inspiration after being seeing how functional this bag is how many ways you can style this you can dress it up you can dress it down so now um and also if you think you can see through these you cannot verified um you can put an every a lot of stuff in here again you also if you think like you're if you're worried that anything's going to come out you just want to make sure anything that you put in this bag is bigger than these little pocket holes so you can open it up like this and it does open pretty wide so it doesn't just open here it actually put, opens pretty wide to put everything in here and then look there is enough Space in here now when I first got it I was just like oh okay I thought it looked you know smaller than I thought in but but when I opened it up it is actually very spacious and love the beautiful uh, called Gaia right there um, so gorgeous this bag is stunning you guys oh my god I cannot wait to wear this um, all spring and summer you're gonna see this back a lot um, but I'm gonna I cannot wait to wear this when I travel um, for upcoming trips that are coming up and somewhere warm and tropical so um, oh my god I cannot wait to style this this is just exciting but um, you can also not only can you hold it like this but you can just fold this down and Put it like this underneath your um arms so there's two ways to wear this bag but i cannot wait um to wear this i mean the only thing i mean of course it would be nice if it had an old crossbody but that is not this type of bag but it also does sit pretty well down so it's kind of hard to see but it will stay on a table so if you're worried about it not staying on the table it will um that was the box was a little unbalanced but on the floor it's sitting still all right so 
I cannot wait to wear this and style this for you guys. Um, but keep an eye out for this bag. You're going to see this a lot. But again, I will link everything um, that I bought below in the description box. And so that way you guys can check them out and see what you like, what you want to get. Um, this was a steal, you guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I got it for 91 when it was originally like 400 um, for this bag. I'm glad that patience paid off. But um, thank you guys. Um, I hope that... Um, you know, you just let me know if you have any questions, put in the comments um, what you liked, what you're probably going to buy, what you're going to get, um, you know, and I'll let you guys know how I get along, um, get on with all of these products, and um, I'll let you know, you know, what works, what doesn't, but um, for the most part, I feel like all of these will be good, um, but I will try on the dress just to make sure that, you know, um, it is perfect and um, how... I wear it um, I cannot wait um, you definitely want to make sure you just follow you know the size guide and get it true to your size um, for it and I think for this dress in itself I got the hmm, um, extra small so um, because there's a lot of room and stretch and I just want to make sure that I'm supportive here but again I will let you guys know how I get along with everything if you have any questions put it in the description box um, and I will link everything below for you guys as well. And, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, but I would love for you guys to hit that subs subscription, a uh, subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So you guys stay informed every time I post a new video and also follow me over at Instagram. I'll post that somewhere up here. I would love to have you guys join the family and, um, chat over there, but I'm going to end the vlog here um going out to um do some wedding shopping with my brother and my mom um so need to get going with my day and like go and help him and you know <sighs> can't believe it but um um just go out with them and um have a good time um just eat getting some delicious food and doing some wedding shopping but yeah so i will um end the vlog here and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.